I'm Mark Langhorst. Um, I work with uh, Business Design as a managing consultant and the chief technology evangelist. Um, but I'm mainly here because within the context of the Open Group, I lead the team that develops the argument language. I have done so ever since it was just a research project in the Netherlands. I was the project manager of that. So we're talking about the argument 3.1 release, the new features in there. Um, it's actually a um, relatively minor release, it's a dot release, so it's not a major release like 3.0, but uh, there are several uh, useful improvements for end users. The most uh, visible one is the new value stream concept that can be used to express um, how an organization produces value for its stakeholders, its customers, etc. And so the, the stages in which that value is created. Uh, another addition that might seem small but it's very useful for practitioners is uh, the use of an, an association relation that has a direction. You can see a directed association rather than just an undirected one. So that might seem minor, but has lots of practical applications. And there are many smaller improvements uh, to things like uh, definitions of concepts, uh, pictures of the meta model, and some technical details on the so-called derivation of relationships. Archimedes started out in the first version as a you could say just a language for modeling uh, the core of, of how an enterprise operates, but it has been extended over the years with a number of other concepts. First in Archimedes version 2 with concepts for expressing the motivation behind the architecture, so things like strategic goals, the stakeholders. Then in version 3 it was extended with the, the strategy layer which expresses things like capabilities and now value streams, so the higher level perspective of the organization. Uh, also a concept like course of action that expresses the strategy itself. How are we going to use our capabilities and resources to achieve these strategic goals? That is then linked to this core of the architecture. How are things really operating? Uh, so you can really see this, uh, uh, yeah, this line of sight from your strategic goals via these higher level concepts like capabilities and value streams to how that is realized in practice. So you have this, uh, this full, conne uh, yeah, full connection between these different elements. Uh, of course, within organizations, it's just a matter of the, the architects working together and we have lots of large customers as Biz Design uh, working with Archimate. But what's maybe even more interesting is to see that Archimate is now explicitly used as a standard for expressing architectures between organizations and for reference architectures. Uh, an example is uh, in banking, you have the uh, Bayan standard, which is a standard for describing how banks operate. That's expressed in Archimate. Uh, another example is in, say, higher education in the UK and in the Netherlands and in other countries, there are reference architectures for universities and uh, other uh, educational institutes expressed in Archimate. Um, NATO has just uh, last year published a new version of the NATO architecture framework and one of the two uh, meta models that you're allowed to use for expressing your architectures is Archimate. Um, so various kinds of applications also beyond just the individual organization. And Archimate is a relatively lean language. It doesn't force you into details, so it is suitable for modeling um, within an agile context the, the essentials rather than uh, all the details. Modeling used to be something that you had to design all the details and, and that's no longer viable in an agile context, so you have to keep things to the minimum and, and as a language argument fits well with that. So I would encourage everyone to have a look at the argument 3.1 standard, the new version. Uh, and if you have any ideas on future versions uh, evolving the standard further, uh, please contribute to the argument forum of the Open Group, join that and be part of the community that evolves the standard and makes it an even better tool for enterprise architects.